Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts right here after breakfast. Smoking a poor excuse for a lucky strike right here in the ranting chair. Sorting out the world's problems. Uh, you know, I had some random thoughts, man, as I'm getting my stuff done and everything else. And uh, I found a movie on the internet for free. Uh, it's on YouTube. It's called The Bad News Bears. I'm pretty sure everybody and their mother's seen it. And uh, I probably did years ago, but don't remember. So I'm watching it, and it got me thinking, man, you can't really make TV and movies like you used to anymore. <sighs> now, what do I mean by that? Well, you know, I guess the 70s were just a different place, man, and fortunately I didn't grow up back then. Uh, huh, I was born into the tail ass end of the 80s, bro. I'm a Cold War baby. Uh so I didn't get to experience this kind of fun, but, like, the old farts that, uh, you know, were around back in them days, you know, they'd tell you to rub some dirt on it or whatever, you know, they were still around when I was a young guy, and I learned a lot from them. <sighs> People like my dad, my uncles, you know, their friends, you know, them salty old uh, war vets that like to hang out and drink beer and smoke Lucky Strikes with you and shit when you're a kid. And, you know, I, I think that's the problem with the younger generation now is the, the rub some dirt on it mentality has uh, gone the way of the dodo, right? Uh, much like my dad, you know, went up like a pack of lucky strikes. Uh, well, <coughs> I think that mentality has gone bye-bye. Now, full disclosure, uh, I'm not really a sports ball kind of guy, you know. Like, I respect the fact that America's game is baseball, and I can even be interested in the activity after, like, a few dozen drinks, you know, but it's generally not my jam. However, I, I believe that sports ball... <sighs> fucking thing burned out on me. Ugh, it's one of them days riding the damn struggle bus. <sighs> I believe there's a lot of life lessons that you can learn from sports ball and doing all the sports ball things, man. You know, like teamwork and, you know, togetherness and camaraderie and brotherhood and, you know, sportsmanship. You know, the, the idea of being sporting about things. You know, how to be a good winner, how to be a good loser, you know. Teaches you hard work and dedication, you know. Stuff like that. Now, now I realize that, uh, you know, around the time Arnold Rothstein fixed the World Series, you know, and got away with it, basically. You know, I mean, obviously there's corruption and stuff there, you know. I think we all remember that uh, butthole that did all the steroids. I think his name is Barry Bonds or something like that. I can't remember. You know, the cheatery and stuff that goes on can be learned in the in the field, if you will, you know. There's got to be some honor and integrity left in certain things, and I think a big part of why America's all fucked up now is because uh, people don't learn that honor and integrity, you know. I know, you're listening to some guy with a rooster tattoo on his weenie who's a reformed criminal that uh, makes very questionable decisions and doesn't remember all of it. But I do have some standards. <sighs> you know... It started pretty simple, you know, they, they banned people from drinking beer on the baseball field like Babe Ruth used to and eating hot dogs. You know, people get whipped up on cocaine between in innings and stuff like that. You know, they, they used to chew tobacco, right, or smoke while they were uh, throwing the ball around and stuff. You know, and of course you get people like Pete Rose who, like, threw a bunch of, you know, awesome fucking games while he's completely tripping fucking balls on LSD. <sighs> but movies like The Bad News Bears, you know, they are a bygone holdover from a time that does not exist outside of the history books anymore. You know, back when men were men, and they wore porno mustaches and carried revolvers and smoked Lucky Strikes and drank too much and slapped their wife around some during sex because she apparently liked it, you know. It just, it don't, it don't fly in today's day and age. And, you know, Hollywood, like, tries to relive and recapture this era in human history. 
And I think it's one of them things to fully understand it. You had to have been there. Like I said, man, I'm a 90s kid, so I don't know. Like, I just saw little tidbits and pieces of it, you know, my developmental years. It probably formed me into the uh, salty old bastard I am today, you know. And, and that's another thing, man. You know, like, people used to let you have a fight, right? Like, you and the other kids didn't get along very well. You say, all right, pussy, let's throw down, you know, slap the fuck out of them, you know, and knock them around, you know, make a meat dog do on a stick or whatever, you know, boys will be boys, and, and that mentality is gone the way of the dodo nowadays. <sighs> you know, and, and it really bugs me, man, because, like, kids today are so fucking sensitive and soft, they just do not have a fucking chance. You know, they don't learn to do the things. They don't have strong male role models around, or female role models for that matter. You know, don't, not everybody needs to turn into a drunken pervert, you know, like me. But it, it's the principle of the matter, yo. Like, if you don't show the kids how to grow up right, then they're going to turn into these little blue-haired mongoloids we have running amok nowadays. That, that have never had that developmental punch in the cocksucker that everybody needs once in a while to, to better learn and formulate strong and moral opinions about things, right, wrong or indifferent, you know. And I can honestly say, every time I ever been punched in the face, or anywhere else for that matter, I learned something from it, even if nothing else, that not to do that again, right? You know, there's no rule book or playbook to life, man. You know, I mean, the Bible, you know, it's a thing. You know, people like it or don't like it. You know, I'm not going to delve into that subject. But, you know, like we all have a code of conduct, a code of ethics and morals and mores and taboos and social stigmas and all of the things. And, and in all reality, it's different for every culture across the board, but there's basic human truths to life. And I think that... Well, I personally believe, and this is just my opinion, man, you know, you should get kids involved in, you know, violent sports like boxing and, you know, shit like that. Uh, contact sports, you know, like baseball, football, you know, wrestling, you know, hockey, right, if you're a damn Canadian. I don't know. It kind of really gives that push in the good direction, right? And I talked to Pete about this once in a while, you know? Like, he could have just ended up like me one day, you know, before I grew up. But it was them salty old farts they are like, hey, yo, don't, don't fuck around like that, lest you find out. And he's like, yeah, huh, uh, that's not a bad idea. I, I'm going to give that a try. You know? It's okay to fuck up once in a while. Just, to, just don't end up drunk, naked, and afraid, and on a milk farm somewhere, man. You know, don't get on the slow train to Warsaw, right? Like the dead Kennedy said, it's just a shower, man. Well, it's, you know, if that's the way you want to go with life, so be it. But, you know, I, I am a firm believer that you should get every child in America involved in the shooting sports, if nothing else, so they know how to handle one correctly. Because there will be that day, right, that, that shit's going to happen and they're either going to fuck around or they're going to find out or, or they're going to help somebody else fuck around and find out, you know, and, and that's how we got to do things, yo. So, as always, uh, I got to go feed mama and finish this poor excuse for a cigarette and get some chores done. So I will yak at you all later.